here with Daniel Defense, and today I want to talk to you about our DDM4 V7. This lightweight modular rifle would make a perfect addition to anybody's gun safe. It comes standard with a 16-inch government profile barrel and a mid-length gas system. It also comes standard with our MFR 15.0 M-Lock rail. The M-Lock rail has a patented bolt-up system which is extremely rigid and durable and can take any beating you would give it on the range. This rifle comes in just over six pounds, which makes it extremely maneuverable and easy to move around barriers. Also, if you're out shooting all day, it's not extremely heavy. It comes standard with our Daniel Defense bolt carrier group. Those are MPI tested, extremely durable, full auto rated bolt carrier groups. They do come standard with a mil spec trigger. They all will come with an ambidextrous selector lever, which is great for lefties or righties. And you have the ability to switch from the long side to the short side with uh, just removing a small little screw here and you can switch your long selector to either side that you want. It's also gonna come standard with Daniel Defense rubber over molded furniture, which is extremely comfortable. Overall, the DDM4 V7 is a perfect rifle for anybody from beginning shooters all the way up to the pros. Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. Today we're going to disassemble the Ruger AR556 rifle. This disassembles slightly different from the Ruger SR556 rifle. To begin with, you need a good clean work surface, a mat, good lighting, and of course, a pair of safety glasses. We want to make sure the rifle is empty of any ammunition. So to begin with, put the rifle from the fire position to the safe position. Remove the magazine and make sure it has no ammunition. Set that to one side. Pull the bolt charging handle to the rear and engage the bolt lock. Make sure the chamber is completely empty. Once that is done, we're gonna begin by taking the handguard off. Unscrew the delta nut. Now this is a clockwise turning nut. Separate the two halves. Set those to one side. You wanna Pull the bolt carrier assembly and allow that to ease forward. There's a takedown pin, if we push that through, this will allow the rifle to pivot in the middle. Pull the charging handle back just slightly and then you can pull the bolt carrier assembly completely out. Pull back and down on the charging handle and we can set this to one side. We're also going to take out our buffer and buffer spring. There's a small plunger that holds the buffer in place. If we depress that plunger, you can lift out the buffer and buffer spring and set that to one side. We're done with the main rifle for now. We'll set that aside. To disassemble the bolt carrier assembly, you need a small punch. On the side of the bolt carrier is a cotter pin. If you grab that cotter pin and remove that, it'll allow you to remove the firing pin from the bottom. Push the bolt to the rear inside the carrier. Our cam pin needs to be rotated so the side of it is parallel to the key. Then we can lift out the cam pin. Once the cam pin has been removed, we can pull the bolt assembly completely out. On the bolt, we have an extractor on one side, which is held in with a solid pin. Compress the extractor and push the pin through, and you can remove the extractor. 
that is as far as we need to disassemble the AR556 rifle for cleaning and inspection. Thanks for watching Ruger Tech Tips. Hey everybody, Cav here at the Six Hour Academy here to introduce you to the Six Hour M400 Tread. So this rifle is basically our introduction into the sub thousand dollar category. Uh, Six Hour in the past has had uh, much more expensive rifles up towards about a thousand dollars and this is our introduction into that more affordable price range for the intro shooters. Uh, this for the intro perspective is going to be a solid rifle to start off from. Very good solid base coming with a lot of the accessories that you will add on to later with those other manufacturers. So one of the key features in this rifle is going to be the barrel itself. We've got a 16 inch stainless steel one and eight twist barrel. Comes with our uh, taper lock system here too with a muzzle device, we'll talk about that in a second. So stainless steel, why stainless steel? Well you're gonna get with that stainless steel more accuracy downrange uh, with this rifle and not worry about too much corrosion going on either. Stainless steel is good for that. We've also got the one and eight twist. Some of you might ask why one and eight twist? Uh, well, again, this is more apt for the introductory shooters, people just getting into this. Uh, so one and eight twist, people don't typically start off in this industry here spending a whole lot of money on ammo. They tend to go with the lighter 55 grain rounds. And what that will allow you to do is have more accuracy with those lighter rounds of 55 grain, etc. The taper lock. Uh, what we've got here is our SIG taper lock works very well with our suppressors line. What that does is allow for a good solid lockup. Uh, it takes more effort to take the can off than it does to put the suppressor back on. And also good solid alignment all the way through. As you can see, this is going to come with a uh, three uh, prong flash hider to keep your uh, vision in check while shooting uh, multiple rounds in lower light. You're not going to get blinded by the flash. Coming uh, with that barrel is going to be our SIG Microlite gas block. It's actually made of stainless steel, believe it or not, lighter than most of the titanium gas blocks out there. Very light, very uh, inconspicuous, runs underneath the most uh, handguards out there, and it's going to be a very light option for you. So one thing I look for in a rifle is going to be ambidextrous friendly components. With this rifle out of the box, you're going to get several of those. Your run-of-the-mill baseline rifles typically come with righty-only components, and so a lefty is going to have to learn how to figure that out. With this, again, out of the box, you've got several different lefty and righty ambidextrous components. So first is going to be uh, the safety selector switch. So I've got the safety here, righty and lefty friendly. Uh, also, I've got the ambidextrous magazine catch, so again, I can access it from the left side or the right side very, very easily. Also is going to be the QD points on both sides, right and left. So if you're a lefty like me, you can run your sling point here, righty, sling side right over here. So very, very impressive. This comes with uh, several different ambidextrous components. Also, if you decide to upgrade too later on, we also offer a ambidextrous charging handle. So that's going to help out significantly as well. Also coming stock with this rifle is going to be the stock itself, uh, Magpul SLK stock. It's really nice, sleek lined, uh, six position stock. So the taller folks out there, the shorter folks out there like me, you're going to have a perfect position just for you when it comes to that level of comfort. Another thing I'm a big fan of the stock too, is gonna be a little bit of a wider cheek piece here. So it's gonna give you a good solid uh, cheek weld when it comes to shooting this rifle. Not No strain out of your neck, and it's gonna be nice and comfortable for you uh, if you're having to sit on the stock for a prolonged period of time. Another ergonomically friendly piece is going to be uh, the new SIG pistol grip. So there's about a thousand different pistol grips out there made for AR-15. SIG did actually a very, very good job of making this new grip very, very ergo friendly. It fits very well uh, lefty or righty and it's a very sleek, uh, smooth feeling grip. Also has a, a little compartment in here for your batteries, your lube, uh, any extra parts, your extractors, whatever it is you might want to keep inside of there. So probably the biggest key feature on this rifle coming out of the box, this thing is going to have a free floating handguard already on the rifle. What does that mean? Essentially, most of your uh, lower cost rifles out there come with some sort of a handguard that in some way, shape or form touch the barrel. Now typically that's not a great thing. Uh, if anything touches the barrel in any way, shape or form, what that does is tends to mess with the harmonics of your barrel. Uh, if you rest the barrel on a barricade or a car part or anything like that, uh, what it'll do is send that round literally a matter of inches at a mere 50 yards away, uh, away from its intended target. 
So with a free floating handguard, what you have is nothing at all touching that barrel. So you're not messing with any harmonics whatsoever. I can rest this thing on a barricade, uh, rest it on a bipod, I can rest it on a car part, whatever it is, and nothing's messing with that rifle's accuracy, which is pretty key. It's pretty sleek, very, very smooth. Uh, so no matter where you run your hand on this handguard, it's going to be a nice smooth position for that hand too. Uh, so I'm a big fan of that. So whether you're a first time buyer or an experienced M400 shooter, uh, this is a good place to go. I can start with a base rifle that's not going to break the bank at all, and I've got plenty of room for accessories. Uh, I've been able to shoot this rifle quite a bit at the Academy for the past couple months, and I'll tell you what, this is a good solid platform to start off with. I'm a big fan, good solid shooter, and I really enjoyed shooting this thing. Get yourself a M400 tread, and we'll see you at the Academy. What we have here, folks, is one of the Wilson Combat AR-15 carbines. You know, Bill and the company have been offering a line of carbines and AR rifles for well over a decade. And over the years, he's constantly upgrading and improving the product line as far as the components and the way the guns are configured. For example, you know, he specifically utilizes stainless barrels, uh, barrel twist dramatically vary depending on the caliber and requirement. For example, in 5.56, he offers everything from seven, eight, nine twist barrels, kind of what you want. I mean, he's fairly flexible in providing a gun to meet your requirements. Uh, you can specify how the carbine is gonna be made as far as the, the details, the stocks, the options. He's really pretty flexible. For example, this gun has a forged lower receiver, real common in the AR industry. He also offers, in this case, on this 458 SOCOM, a billet receiver, which is basically the receiver is machined out of a block of aluminum to very specific contours and uh, makes for a nice package. You can kind of spec what you want. Wilson Combat offers their trim rail. And once again, they realize that the big, fat, bulky rail systems that were real popular often were counterproductive to what you wanted an AR-4. You only need to rail places in the place where you're gonna attach accessories. So the trim rail has the Picatinny surface on top, but you can pre-attach wherever you want these particular rail sections for a light, a sling swivel, bipod, whatever. So the guns are designed from a user standpoint. Uh, Wilson Combat offers their really outstanding uh, Wilson special, specialized AR trigger systems. We'll talk about that. Uh, at a future time, but man, believe me, his drop-in triggers are superb. You can set the rifle up with whatever sighting system you want. You can add iron sights if that's what you want. He has a great line of those. He offers, for example, on this gun, the Accurizer mount, Wilson mount, which is specific to his product line. It attaches to the Picatinny rail. It's got a real easy on and off system, returns to zero, offered obviously in one inch, 30 millimeter scopes. So the product line can be tailored to your needs. Uh, again, Wilson offers a fly shotter of his manufacturing design. It's very effective. The overall configuration of the guns are very pleasing. They're light, they're handy, and it's a real quality gun from Wilson Combat. This is the Faxon Ion a 16-inch 5.56 ultralight rifle. Weighing in at just under five pounds, the Ion Ultralight is the perfect choice for any shooter looking to step into the competition world or for those who enjoy the soft recoil of a finely tuned lightweight rifle. As part of Faxon's Summit line, the Ion comes from the factory with an abundance of out-of-the-box upgrades, including a tuned gas system, lightweight bolt carrier group, Faxon Signature Integral Pencil Barrel with 3-Port Brake, 13-inch M-Lock Carbon Fiber Handguard, Multi-Position Adjustable Gas Block, Hyper Fire Single Stage Trigger, Radian Raptor LT Ambi Charging Handle, Radian Talon Ambi Safety Selector, and Upgraded Grip and Stock Furniture. <laughs> 